Guys, welcome to another episode of the Blender 2.9 Beginner Tutorial Series. So in this series, like it's in the description, I'm showing you how to render videos in PNG sequence so that you can add them. You know, the reason why we add video in PNG sequence is because sometimes when you are rendering a full video and the video is very big, you might lose your video due to power outage or some PC may crash or something, but with the PNG sequence, you can resume from where you left off or where the thing stopped so that you can render from that place and you wouldn't have to render the whole video again. Guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe for me. It's going, the channel is going small, small. I really need to, I want to do more. So please subscribe for me. It really means a lot to me. And share this channel with your friends. And after you leave a like for me and any questions that you have, just leave it in the comment box. So this is the little animation that I've come up with. This is what we are going to render. And you see, we've talked about lighting, we've talked about camera, and it's in the other video. So if you if you have not watched the videos, go back and watch the tutorials video. I'll leave description in the link. I'll leave link in the description below. Okay, so let me you see I'm in my camera mode. This is my camera. Let me go to the output settings. <coughs> And you see we have 1920 by 1080. I've explained all this in the previous video. So if you've not watched it, go back and watch it. And the frame ends at frame 96. And we are dealing with 24 frames. So this is where we will come and output our renders to. So I'll choose, I'll click here and make a folder on my desktop. And then make a new folder and make this folder. Where is the folder? Where did the folder go? Okay, and make this folder PNG PNG seek test. Okay, so this is where we will store all our PNG images inside. Let me just double click and you see. This is where we will store all our images inside. Like I said, I'll just click accept to accept it. So this is where it's going now. Now I'll choose PNG. You can either use RGB alpha when you want the transparency, but I don't want transparency, so I'm using RGB. And the rest is cool. So I'll just leave this one here. Leave it at PNG. You see, we talked about FFmpeg, but this time we are looking at PNG. We can likewise use JPEG, but JPEG looks quality with time, so we'd rather use PNG. Okay, and after it is done, I'll just come to the render. When I come to render, I'll render animation. And if you remember the other video when I rendered animation when the video when it was video it just rendered one video but with this one it will give us images so I just click render animation and see what happens so let me leave this on for some time for you to see as it's moving you see the frames are going frame 7 frame 8 and this is the time I explained all this in the previous videos frame 11 so I'll pause the video for a second and after it's done I'll come back and explain and we'll continue from there Okay, so you can see, after some time, it's done now. We've rendered all the 96 frames. So, I'll go back to my desktop and check the folder that we saved all the PNG images in. So, I'll go to my desktop and locate this. Sorry about my desktop. I think it's this one. No, not this one. Sorry, my desktop is clumsy. Okay, this is it. This is, so you see, we rendered all this. It is from 0001 to 00096 okay all the 96 frames so now you have these ones if your by mistakenly or your pc had crashed uh, during the 58 one it will end here so like next time you would have gone to the you would have started from 50. Well, let me show you here so next time you would have chosen frame start from 50 and end at 96 so that's why png is the best png sequence is the best for longer animations so i'll just come to video editing after you render the animation you come to video editing it's located here and i'll choose video editing and you see we have the video editing uh, layout here i'll just go and bring in my the sequence that i rendered so shift a this is the timeline okay this is where you bring all the 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 image strip okay we have the sequencer and we had a preview and we have sequencer slash preview so you see it will just it's for this one so i'll choose the sequencer and this is the editor type and we have the preview here 
just nice blender has done it for us if i click and i can just push this one in but it we don't need it for now so i'll press shift a and bring in you see we have many things here we have movie for videos we have sound we have image or sequence you see we have color we have text and all of that so we will choose image sequence and i will locate it on my desktop what we rendered okay if you remember i think it's the png test so i'll double click and you see we have all of it in so you click a to select or not control a click a to select all and we have add image strip here so i'll just click add image strip and you see it's in it's one image now when you press pre, when you press play sorry when you press it's, it's not in the region that's why it's playing here so i'll just drag it here you see now it's fitting in the comp or you can just increase the uh, the timeline okay so i'll just start from one and play you see it's now showing here and that's the animation to so stop here okay so you get the idea so now that you have brought it here as png sequence you can now just where did my recording go okay i got it so now that you you have it here you can choose another location for saving or you can just come to file and you render if we had sound we would have brought sound shift a and shift a and we will add sound but we are not using sound here so i'll just leave it here and i'll go to render the settings are also here though you see the settings are here and this is where the output will go okay when you output we will put it here in the uh, sequence form so let me just click cancel and this time you will choose ffmpeg okay so it will be very fast you render the video fast because it has already compiled the the memories of the renders that will take longer time so when it's now ffmpeg it will render very very fast so i'll choose ffmpeg you can choose the encoding H.264 in mp4 that's what i usually use so that's it and you just click render it will render all this region so you see this one will be rather fast faster so render animation and you see how fast it's going unlike when we were rendering the images that it was going slow this one it has all the information so it will render faster within some second i won't pause this video you just watch it as it's going as fast as it is and within some second just count by three i think you'll be done so let's start one two three okay it's done now so let me just close it here i can close or minimize it so let me minimize it and go to my desktop again and see you see we have that render here so when i click and open with a video player you see we have it, we are now playing it you see so that's how you render a png image sequence okay that's for animation longer animations when you don't trust your light or your computer might crash or anything can happen so that's when you use this image sequence to render okay so i'll end the tutorial here thank you for always sticking with me and thank you for sharing my videos if you have not subscribed please subscribe for me and if you subscribe just click just type i subscribe in the comment box i have an i have a reward for you okay and share this video to your friends thank you Stay creative.